guys, welcome again to Catherine's YouTube channel and today I'm going to talk to you about my fashion part of the life. Show you the stuff I've created from all the crap that I created in the beginning to the good stuff I've created recently. a lot of stuff obviously when you see way back then in the beginning all my stuff are rather crap yeah now I'm going to show you a couple of stuff that I don't have right here and I'm going to show you what I created and what are they as far as I remember this is the first dress that I've created really liked it I never exactly knew how to hem it so I literally just fold it and I don't know I didn't even backstitch this dress and it was just like a big mistake but you know when it come out on picture it's actually great but when you hang it like this it's obviously not balanced it wasn't finished it's everything now the next piece that I created is this really ambitious blue top so I literally was looking around what are things I can do so I can create dress or top or bottom that is just my own design. I don't need to buy a pattern paper. So what I did was I bought Sharpie and this fabric, blue fabric, and I literally just draw the Sharpie, like using Sharpie just draw on this fabric and this is the dress. I mean, it's not the greatest and if you can see the final product itself, which I think I already throw it away unfortunately, but you can see the sharpie on the fabric itself. It's I created a, a couple more stuff after that, but I don't think I remember exactly what else I did. There's a few school projects that I've done and I'm going to show you the picture right here. And that is my Often traditional material project that I get from school. <clears throat> so basically what non-traditional material is not fabric. So we need to think of some materials we can use that can link up together or use some connector to link up and we create something beautiful. So when I went to Walmart, I had no idea what I'm gonna use, but I was like I saw these rubber bands and I was like, when I was little in Indonesia, we used to create those jumping ropes using the linked rubber bands. So I was like, aha, maybe I can create something using this. So I ended up creating a top with the linked rubber band and I just used these rulers to create a skirt. I just used some wires, the gold wires I can find in the office section of Walmart. Just link them up together, make it look a bit more asymmetrical so it doesn't look so stiff and I created The next dress. thing I created in the school fashion school was this white and yellow stripe dress. But it so this is from my sewing class and basically this is a project where we knock off existing dress there's a few other dresses or tops and bottoms here that I created the giraffe themed outfit and this superhero themed outfit that I just made with help my friends and made it to fashion show now, as well now move on to the time where I come to the Illinois when I went to J when I went to Japan, I was I went to fabric store prior to that, and I saw a few beautiful fabrics. So I was like, maybe I should create some stuff for my Japan trip. So some of the stuff I created is this um, little thing. It's like a halter dress that I didn't even freaking finish. But I was like, what the hell? I'm only going to take picture of it, so no one really cares. And this is super sexy. I don't think I can ever wear this without like, um, you know, the bra that sticks in the front because the back is literally just like a knot. So yeah. I mean, Other stuff that I made um, over my Sakura time Sakura skirt. You wanna take a look. So it's not the prettiest skirt you can see. It's just a regular straight miniskirt. 
The only special thing about this for me is that it's kind of look like Sakura. So I, when I take picture on Instagram for like my Japan trip, it's gonna look awesome just because it's Sakura. So I mean, yeah, I mean I top stitched them, I did line them, so it's good. The thing that is bothering me is the fact that this lining keep going down. Maybe I think it. I don't exactly know, but I think it just. I should have made it a bit shorter. Another thing that I uh, made for my trip uh, to Japan is this little <sighs> overall <laughs> with like flowers. I really love the fabric and the reason why I made this really fun like a-line skirt with like overalls right here. Look at the button, it's so cute. The reason why I made this is I know that I'm going to Fujiko at Fujio Museum and you know Doraemon and I feel like the color really matches with Doraemon and I actually wear like a little yellow beret when I went there so I'm like this is a perfect outfit for Doraemon Museum. <laughs> Actually, I never really used this after I went to the Doraemon Museum because I think it's a little hideous for me to wear this in like the US. So if you guys want this, let me know because I can. Next up, I created is this Batik Fest. If you haven't known already, I have a business called Misha, MishaStore.com, and I kind of sell a lot of my creation, my friend's creation there. We try to do a little bit of Batik stuff because we're Indonesian and we kind of want to promote our culture in the United States. So when I first kind of venture into the idea of fall collection of Misha, I was thinking about creating vests. I haven't seen a lot of batik or like the fabric batik vests. So this is like one of the fabric that my mom got from Indonesia and I really love it. The color is really neutral. It's like brown and white and I can always pair it up with anything. And I think the white here is just like a denim fabric and the inside is like a brown color lining so I mean everything is really nice I really like the fact that the back is not just simple it has some kind of design to it um, and yeah I mean I really like it so this is like one of the better stuff I have also guys I have little pockets here lined with like the white lining inside so if anytime I can put my cell phone here and here also in the same theme of creating a vest, I actually created this little maroon vest that made it to the Misha line for fall collection. I think vest is a big thing lately. I've seen a lot of vests as kind of accessory for like fall, early fall kind of stuff. So I really enjoy creating vests and batik. Again, I want to promote batik culture, Indonesian culture as much as possible in the United States. The thing that I really like about this vest is like the maroon lining looks so grandeur, looks so royal. So I really like it and the, the fact that the color of this cotton fabric is blue, navy blue, it's like really neutral, it's really flattering. So I really like this vest. The length is a little bit longer and that's the kind of vest I'm kind of looking for. So I really like the length. Another thing to like is there's a pocket here. So totally something wearable I've worn this I've worn this many 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 times there's also a batik detailing at the back but pretty much the back is like plain continuing the batik craze I actually created this little peplum top uh, again this is like one of the batik that my mom came and brought for me but I never really created anything out of it so since I had like some extra batik and extra time I just created this peplum top the only thing I didn't like, I think when I was creating this, the neck came up too high. So sometimes I feel like <sighs> it's like, you know, choking me almost. But I mean, other than that, I really liked it. This is also the first time I tried to learn how to make these spaghetti straps. And I was about to kill myself because when I was flipping it out, I kept failing and failing and failing. I'm like... <sighs> I actually took a couple of days just because not that it took that long my stress level went up and I'm like no I'm gonna do this um tomorrow, so. this is actually not what I created this is like one of my designs I like cape I like I was in the mood for something flip and you see colors so the thing that I also like about this is there's two ways to wear it you can always put your arm in here and it becomes a cape or you can let your arms out and it becomes just like a regular top like 
Another design of mine that I like is this blue short. And this is pretty much in the same theme of what I created earlier, like the white and then when you open it, it's like there's like this pastel blue color. So that's the thing I like about it. The only thing that I kind of regretted is the fact that I didn't make this wing detachable. So I mean, also another thing that I regretted is like the length. I think it would have looked more pretty if the length is more up and if the fabric is not as short um, as it is. So. We are supposed to create a blouse. Just kind of look a bit old with this, but I just wanted to learn something new and ruffles was the thing that I wasn't familiar with before, so I wanted to learn it and I created this blouse. I used a pattern to create this and the fabric is a little bit stiffer but what I'm crazy about with the fabric is the color. Also look at the design there. I mean, it's really intricate. Um, the cuffs over here and all the buttons, the collar, yeah, and the back. In terms of fit, to be honest, it didn't fit me quite well. So this is waiting for my aunt to take from my home. And another project that I worked on in school is making a skirt. A lot of my friends go with like all the circular skirt, all of this like A-line skirt. And guys, I go crazy with like a tool skirt. It's my first time creating a tool skirt, actually. And I found this really pretty like um, applique from one of the local fabric stores. And I wanted to make something with like a dramatic uh, runway effect so I created this uh, actually like the lining inside is gold like royal gold and if you can see I actually accidentally cut it with the scissors and like <laughs> it took me forever to cut and actually saw all these layers and layers of tool all this applique I need to cut them one by one like following all the details and stuff and actually sew them by hand to this skirt so a lot of time a lot of work also what's frustrating is creating the zipper um since the zipper goes to like all this crap i cannot really have a uh, like machine stitch it so i need to like hand stitch it one by one and yeah there goes the um the skirt Another thing that I learned from class was sewing a knit. So this is my knit project. Uh, the failure here is that I think the fabric color is a little bit more uh, like yellow reddish compared to like the mesh itself. So I think if I use like a clear white fabric, it would have been better. Also, I was struggling when I was trying to like make a pivot over here. So it's a little bit rounded on this other side not the greatest but again I created this pretty fast so what I want I'm to perfect. show you is something that I'm probably most proud of this jacket you have no idea how much time I actually spent to create this thing I created it using this um what is it neoprene material like a scuba material this neoprene material the moment you freaking tap the fabric it's gonna show up so when you when you sew over this fabric you have to be right there's a lot of places where i screwed up but you know what it's fine because it's only me who's wearing it look at this like this is screwed up right you can't totally see it the only thing that i probably would change about this is the collar because the moment i wear this i thought oh, i'm gonna wear this for like early fall kind of thing but 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 there's already a lot of stuff here even though i've only worn it once Twice. there's like a bunch of like black things over here and I don't really want to dry clean this, this off like that often because it costs a lot of money that's all i want to show you guys today obviously there's a lot more stuff that i've created i don't know exactly until now like how to create a lot of things i'm still learning and i'm sure i'm gonna get better only by doing it so keep following me and see what are the stuff i'm creating for future if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe me so that i can always come up in the youtube in your youtube channel 
So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!